Hello everyone. So uh, let's solve one more problem. This is actually a little bit tricky problem uh, so that you know I wanted to explain this. But you can pause the uh, video, read the question and then try to solve it yourself. It's just so many things in this problem. It's quite complicated. But then if you really understand uh, how it is going, uh, then you can solve it. Okay. So let's, let's read the problem first. Uh, I have already written down some steps here. So a shent field coil. So shent field means you should remember that uh, shent field occurs in a DC machine is required to develop a 1500 ampere turns with applied voltage of 60 volts. So my ampere turns is 1500 and applied voltage is 60 volts. So what is the shent field current? It's nothing but voltage by shent field resistance RSH. Okay. So right now the shent field resistance is unknown, but the voltage is known. So if I if I rewrite this ampere turns is nothing but n. So in the in the place of current, I will put V by R. Okay, this is R S H. So that is 1500. Now uh, let's continue reading the question. The rectangular coil is having a mean length of turn of 50 centimeters. That means uh, the length of one turn is 50 centimeters. Okay, so this is length of turn. So each turn is 50 centimeters. That means if there are 10 turns, the total length of the wire itself will become uh, 500 centimeters. So just as an example, I'm telling. Okay. So length per turn is 50 centimeters. Okay. So what is the total length? Is nothing but 50 centimeters into number of turns. Okay. So total length of the wire is nothing but 50 n turns, or sorry, centimeters. So also remember, we, we should be careful about what unit we are using. 15 to n centimeters is the total length of the wire. Okay. Another information given, resistivity of copper may be assumed to be 2 into 10 power minus 6 ohm centimeters. So I have written down that resistivity is 2 into 10 power minus 6 ohm centimeter. And we know from formula of resistance, resistance is rho L by A, resistivity into length divided by A. Okay, so now, uh, where A is the area of cross section of the uh, wire. Okay. Now, if I substitute, this is for shunt field. So, resistance of the shunt field will be the rho into length of the entire wire. And then, this one I can substitute in this equation. Okay. So, what do I have? Okay. So, N into the voltage is 60. So, divided by this R. Okay. So, that is rho into length of the wire is 15 to n divided by uh, the area of cross section. So this one, this entire quantity is nothing but 1500 given in the question. Okay. So now this rho is also known. Okay. So in this, if you see the number of turns get cancelled out. Okay. So this a from the lowest denominator will go to the top. So I will get 60 into a divided by rho. Rho is 2 into 10 power minus 6 ohm centimeter multiplied by length. Length is again 50. This is also in centimeters. Okay. So we have taken care of the units. So centimeter centimeter will cancel. Okay. So this quantity is nothing but 1500. So from this I can find out what is the A. Okay. So let me do the calculation here. So A is nothing but 1500 multiplied by 2 into 10 power minus 6 multiplied by 50 whole divided by 60. Okay. So this quantity will give me the value of the A. Okay. So uh, let me bring the calculator to do the calculation. Okay. So I have Fifteen hundred into two into six with a minus sign, and then uh, I want to apply ten power six. So let me switch to the scientific cal calculator. Fifteen hundred into two into 6 with a minus sign 10 power x 
into 50 divided by 60. So I am getting the value 0 0.0025. What will the units? It will be centimeter square. So if you remember, we are solving the entire problem with centimeters. Okay. Now this is the area of cross section, and uh, so if you if the wire will be a circular wire, so the diameter of the wire, so pi d is nothing but a. So therefore d is a by pi. And so if I just divide this number by pi so I will get 0 0.000795 okay? or I will approximate this is in centimeters so I will approximate into or is it really centimeter square let's let's uh, verify the units later so I get 0 0.008 uh, mm okay. that looks like an awfully thin uh, meter okay. awfully thin wire let me just uh, uh, pause here for a while I'll, I'll just verify the answer and come back Alright, so I think the answer is correct. Uh, the mistake where I made is here. Actually, pi d is the circumference. So, what is the area? Actually, it is pi d square by 4 is actually the correct formula. So, I just made a mistake there. So, pi d square by 4 is actually the area. So, therefore, d will be 4a divided by pi under root. So, let us calculate the area. So, so area is 0 0.0025 centimeter square okay multiplied by 4 divided by pi okay this quantity i will apply square root for that okay so now i get the answer that is 0 0.0564 centimeter so this is the diameter or uh, 0.564 mm is the diameter of the wire okay so the question that is asked in the question that is uh, calculate the wire size okay so this one is solved now what is the wire size the diameter of the wire now becomes uh, 0 0.564 mm okay this is the first answer okay so let's continue resistivity of copper this we have used estimate also the number of turns if the coil is to be worked at a current density of 3 amperes per mm square okay so let me use this place here so current density is 3 amperes per mm square okay. so this multiplied by the cross section area so 0 0.0025 centimeter square okay so to convert into mm square because 1 centimeter is 10 mm so i'll multiply by 100 so this will be mm square okay so this quantity if i if i cancel the mm square and then if I multiply all this two zeros I'll just do it like this so 0 0.25 into 3 and that is 0 0.75 amperes okay so this is the actual current in the shunt field value so from this uh, I know the ampere turns okay so ni equal to 1500 so therefore uh, the number of turns required is 1500 divided by 0 0.75 okay so let's calculate that so 1500 divided by 0.75 so that is 2000 turns okay. so estimate the number of turns of the coil to be worked at the current density of 3 amperes per mm square okay. so this is how we solve the problem so this is uh, incorporating the both electrical and magnetic circuits knowledge so slightly complicated problem i feel but then if you really understand what is going on it's not that complicated I hope you learned something from solving this problem. See you in the other videos for more questions.